All right, guys, listen up. Hitman Blood Money Absolution Requiem Revengeance. Should Hitman Blood Money get a remake? This is a question that I haven't seen people talking about. But with Hitman and Hitman 2 trying to replicate the original formula for the Hitman games, to some extent, it made me think about Blood Money and how that would appeal in the current gaming market. I have to say it, Hitman Blood Money is the best Hitman game from a long shot. I don't think any Hitman game even compares to Blood Money. Hitman Contracts was cool, but definitely not as memorable as Blood Money. Absolution had a cool story and some alright mechanics, but it wasn't a good Hitman game. The most recent two were cool, but I wouldn't go out of my way to say that I loved them. To me, they were just good. Hitman Blood Money, however, is the masterpiece of the franchise. Of course, the game has its flaws like the AI, which is absolutely terrible and... St stop fucking looking at me. I feel uncomfortable! And the graphics for 2006 honestly could be a lot better. If you know me, I like games that don't give you hints. There is a tutorial mission, but outside from that, there are no button prompts, no instinct features to see where the targets or guards are, and the game pushes you to figure out everything yourself with the briefing before the mission, giving you intel on where the enemies might be and what they're doing. Absolution and the further games had this feature of subduing the enemies, which is realistic, but made the game a bit too easy. In Hitman Blood Money, you get two chances to subdue your enemies. You do this by using a sedative syringe, making you think twice before you sedate your enemies and get their outfits. This makes the game a lot tenser because one wrong move may have to force you to restart the mission and rethink your choices. Speaking of the game being tense, the music will change depending on your current suspicious status, or if you're trespassing or if you have been caught. And that track for when you are clear and you have eliminated your target is amazing. The story isn't that interesting though. I like it, sort of, but it sure is stupid. But a Hitman story should be taken as literally as a platformer. Do you judge Mario, Sonic and Crash Bandicoot by its story? Of course you don't. Hitman Blood Money is a game that you have to judge on its pure gameplay. And sometimes, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> How can you not see me? What the? But for Hitman Blood Money to get remade? I don't know. I would love to see this game retextured and maybe add some mechanics from the later games, such as taking cover against the walls. But no instinct. No instinct. But if they were to remake it, could they keep the charm of the original game? Because the game has to feel the same as well as different in some aspects. There can't be, like I said, features such as instinct, but scaling cover and things like that should definitely be added. Maybe even some more missions could be added or level geometry could slightly change, making it feel fresh. Fuck, even more cool ways to eliminate your targets. Similar to what the Resident Evil 1 remake did to Resident Evil 1. The geometry of the areas changed, there were more weapons to get and more enemies to defeat. If Hitman Blood Money could do this, it would be a cool remake and could definitely fit well in today's gaming market. So in conclusion, I do think that Hitman Blood Money should get a remake because without a shadow of a doubt, it deserves one. I love this game and I love revisiting it every now and then to find out new ways to eliminate my targets or new ways to approach each level. Remaking this game could reinforce some of the reasons why I love Hitman Blood Money, but at the same time, only if it were to be done right. Thank you all for watching, please subscribe with notifications turned on to see my future uploads and January 31st, be there.